Sorry, mate, that's, that's my parking space. My parking space. Well, I don't know about you, but the one thing that really gets me going is able-bodied people parking in our parking spaces. Oi, you, mate! The fact of the matter is that loads of us disabled people often have no choice but to drive. Because, let's face it, the public transport system is far from public. So, if you are a disabled driver, does having an orange badge give you a passport to parking? Or are you constantly being driven into a frenzy when you see someone without an orange badge nicking your space? Hey. Do you have any stories about confronting people who are abusing orange badge spaces? Hey. Look, I can't get my chair out. I'm only going to be a minute. Oh, no, give it. Come on, move your car! Or are you lobbying your local supermarket to get them to clamp down on offenders? Selfishness is not a disability. Wherever you are in the country, we'd like to hear from you. So, send your orange badge stories to me, Mick Scarlett, from The Edge, PO Box 8346, London W12 6DP. And we will repeat the address at the end of the programme. Now, you've heard of road rage, you've heard of trolley rage, now, orange badge rage. No badge, no car. <laughs> <laughs>